This video will provide a very brief discussion on transfer forces and the transfer force report. A transfer force is the force transmitted from one side of a continuous member to the other. Experienced connection designers understand the importance of transfer forces in designing safe connections. Also, per the AIC Code of Standard Practice, if the engineer of record is delegating the connection design, they are required to provide the connection designer with the transfer forces. Some engineers make the mistake of thinking that beam end connection should be designed for an axial force equal to the axial force in the beam. This is incorrect. We will look at a couple very simple situations. In this first situation, when a load is applied here, if you follow the load path, you'll see that there's a very high axial load in this beam. However, the horizontal component of the compression in this brace mostly cancels out the tension in this beam. Therefore, this beam end connection will not need to be designed for a very high axial force. For future reference, this is member number 11. In the second situation, when a load is applied up here, if you follow the load path, you'll see that there is no axial force in this beam. However, this beam end connection will need to be designed for a very high force. For future reference, this is beam number 15. In the interest of time, we've already run the analysis. You can access the transfer force report by going to Reports, Transfer Force Report. Uh, we will select member numbers 11, and 15 and we will select uh, all seven load combinations that we've analyzed. SDS2 engineering calculates the transfer force for each of these load combinations then the maximum compression transfer force and the ma maximum tension transfer force are listed in the report. As we've predicted the left end of member number 11 is has a very low transfer force and the left end of member number 15 has a very high transfer force.